Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome to this replay in the M18 Hellcat uh, Tier 6. Well, this is a Tier 6 American Tank Destroyer Platoon. I am platooned up with Craig, who you will have seen in a variety of videos that I've posted up. I'm in my Hellcat. He's in his M36 Jackson. Uh, Craig is a massive fan of the Jackson. He loves that tank. Um, and so if anybody ever jumps into a tier 6 or especially a tier 6 tank destroyer he will jump into his Jackson and happily go and join them and I must admit having played it I also think the Jackson's a really nice machine anyway we are <laughs> looking at this poor stock ARL with the ridiculous looking turret I feel so sorry for that guy I've played that tank with that turret and it's garbage <laughs> yeah um, anyway this is on Prokhorovka, or is it Fiery Salient? I can't remember. Who cares? It's the same map. Uh, we are going up to the hill, and we're going to see what we can do. And that chip, that is called the edge of the map. Congratulations. Sometimes I'm an idiot. My stats are improving, which, even with stuff like that, which kind of indicates how rubbish I must have been beforehand. Anyway, like I said, we're going up to the hill. Now, this can be a little bit dubious. Craig doesn't have vast amounts of armor, and I can be penetrated by tier one auto cannons. So yeah, we we yeah we do need to be a little bit careful. Thankfully, there's no fail platoon on the enemy team, so I don't have to worry about those tier ones and the potential embarrassment that would follow. The hill over here, especially on an encounter game, does give you a very uh, domineering position over the map. The flip side is that coming up here in flimsy machines, in tank destroyers, can be a bit of a risk. Often the enemy team has tank destroyer support from sort of B9, B0, that kind of area, sort of little island thing. Um, so you do have to be careful. Now we know there's a KV-85, um, if memory serves we'll be seeing more of him later. But this hill gives you great shots down into the cap circle, it's a very commanding position. Craig's going forward first. Um, which suits me fine because he actually has some armor. Not masses of it, but there, you know, I could be in a tier two with more armor than this thing, and I have a frontal-mounted engine. That, but this isn't a Hellcat review. Um, <laughs> that will come later. So I am popping myself up into a Zisbush. Zisbush here. Uh, it's KV2, KV1. Then can't see anyone else. Ooh, KV-85. Remember that guy from earlier on? He puts a shot into Craig. Craig puts a shot into him. I follow suit. And then, because strange, mysterious reasons, Craig puts another shot into the KV-85. KV-85 then swings his turret around to shoot me. And I don't really understand because Craig's on 24 health and I'm on all of it. So even if that guy hit he's not going to kill me, whereas he could have killed Craig. I don't understand why that KV-85 did that, but whatever. I'm certainly not complaining, because it, you know, it guarantees that Craig's still alive, and more people alive is a good thing. Hello, little KV-1. How are you today? Not feeling so well, are you, anymore? <laughs> uh, the, the gun on the Hellcat is arguably the worst gun to be mounted on a Tier 6 tank destroyer. But... It's more than enough to rip apart people in a tier 6 maximum game. So that KV-1 is dead. Hello, Mr. Chaffee. Oh, he turned at the last minute, cheeky little sod. And then he just drives off, and I imagine him giggling to himself, and then he gets tracked. Oh, no! And then Craig puts him out of his misery. KV-2. And trying to find a shot. Nah, but I did knock some... Um, crud out the way. KV-2 is tracked. I have shots into the side of his turret, which is not good for him because he's suddenly going to be missing large chunks of his health. Craig puts a shot in and good night little tanky, it's time for you to go. He is dead and between us so far myself and Craig have racked up four kills. SU-100 that shot probably didn't the SU, didn't hit the SU-100. Might have hit the TOG. Who knows? T1 Heavy is hiding behind something. Can I put a shot onto his turret? I can, but it bounces. Can't really complain. It was lucky to hit in the first place. Marder 38T. Oh, you poor little sod. Alas, this is AP, not HE, but never mind. There goes a large chunk of your health. And Craig puts you out of your misery. 
T1 Heavy puts a shot on me. And I miss. Craig puts a shot onto him. And my armor sucks. So I'm going to try and get out of dodge there. Um, the Hellcat used to be a lot more mobile. Then it received a bit of a nerf. Basically, the nerf was to its reverse speed. And its um, gun soft stats. In short... The nerfs to the Hellcat means that you have to play it like a tank destroyer now, rather than the kind of upgunned medium tank that people often used to play this thing as. Craig puts a shot in and I finish off that poor T1 Heavy. There's only four of them left. We're winning 11-5. This game was a little bit of a ruffle stomp, I'm going to be honest. So, still got that SU-100 and the TOG-2 um, back at B6. There's al they've also got a pair of Burt's around, and we do have to be careful because Burt can quite happily one-shot me now. Having said that, I'm bored, um, and so I'm just going to press the W key like an idiot. Why? Because it's fun. SU-100, and FE, and there's uh, Lord Toggington. Take a shot at- oh my god, there's another FE. Right, so, take a shot at Sir Lord Toggington, drive through here, desperately try not to get killed by either of these FEs. Someone shoots that 304, I dodge his friend's shot, auto-aim on the 304, kill him. That just leaves the other guy. I probably should be loading high explosive here, but I'm not. And this is a stupid situation as we both desperately try and turn. I put a shot into the FV. And... Oh, it looks like he hit my turret as that shot didn't penetrate. Nothing short of miraculous. And that gives me a top gun. And there's just the SU-100 left. And he is now dead. And that's the game. A little bit frantic at the end there. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as you will see from the post-battle results, myself and Craig prodded some serious buttock. And what surprised me is that although the XP score for that game, you know, was respectable, it wasn't outstanding. I think it was it was between um, a thousand and eleven hundred, and that was actually enough for an ace tanker. Apparently, people aren't playing the Hellcat especially well. Oh well, I'm not going to complain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel. And I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.